Hi Lakers, this is Mr. Ream and I'm here to highlight how you're going to go about doing your 2021-2022 course request process. What you're seeing on the screen is my setup page. It will be fully completed by the time it's ready to be published to you, but I'm going to use this for demonstration purposes. All of our information that we're going to be sending out about course requests and schedules for next year will be done digitally. Uh, given our distance and hybrid models, probably for the remainder of this year at some level, uh, everything's going to be done electronically. And so what we'll have is a page that looks like this and you'll get access to this link at, in the future. And what you're going to need to know is that we're going to be using cl your class uh, year to denote which grade level. All right. So if we use the class of 2021, this will be your landing page and each class will have their own specific page with some specific information. And so if we click on this page, it'll give you a nice little link that gives five steps that you'll need to actually do to be able to get your course requests in, in the window that we'll give you in the future. Step one is we need to check. Okay. So check yourself before you wreck yourself. And ultimately there's a couple key things. Number one is your transcript. Uh, when you are in Aries, you're going to want to go log in and click on grades. And then you can use transcripts and graduation status. I would start with transcripts. And what that's going to do is going to let you look at your past classes as well as your grades. You're going to want to pay particular attention on this page to any D's or F's potentially with a main focus on F's. All right. And your graduation status is going to show you what you still need. This student is a ninth grader, so they're going to need quite a bit. But this is going to let you know if you're having any holes potentially in any subject areas. All right. Keeping in mind that what you're enrolled in now in the first semester, if you're still now in first semester or in second semester, will be you're enrolled in now. Um, it will show you what you still need left. So let me know if you have any questions there. The other thing that you're going to need to do is pull up some information about your graduation. And so we'll show you a document here. This is downloadable as a PDF that you can print or mark on digitally, but it breaks down how many credits in each area you're going to need for graduation that you can mark off. So I would encourage you to do that with that transcript up on Aries. Work on filling that information out, paying close attention to keeping in mind that 10 credits from fine art or world language are required for graduation. So it's an either or. Okay, it's not both. Uh, it's a little different when we get to things like A through G. And that's going to be your college uh, for your college readiness. And that's going to be an important thing to pay attention to if you're planning on applying to a four-year college. This will check off to make sure you're meeting those things. Most of the items on those two pages are going to be very similar, uh, but you do have a few things like uh, needing two years of a world language and one year of a visual performing art to meet your college requirements. Okay. The next thing that you're going to need to pay close attention to, if you scroll down, is considering what options are available to you. There's a couple buttons and this might look slightly different, but we're working on creating a video course catalog for you where teachers have recorded a short description and introduction to their different courses that they offer. I would definitely click on the button and visit that. That's all hosted on YouTube. You can also read a more boring version of the course descriptions here. Okay. As well as watch a few videos here that you can um, be able to understand a little bit more about taking AP classes or taking independent study classes. And if that's the right option for you. Um, you also want to pay close attention to finding backup options. Uh, not every option will become available for every student. Sometimes classes fill up. Sometimes there's conflicts with other classes that you need or want to take. And so having a couple layers of options would be great. And when we have, when you watch the video on entering a course request, it will ask you to enter options as alternates. Step three is making a plan. And this is going to go back to uh, another document here. All right. The course request guide this year, looks much like this. And this will give you an option. This is kind of think of this like a roadmap. If you go through here and it kind of well, the yellow ones are things that you do need to have either here or through a different school like Coldstream or Sierra College or something. Okay, but different options. All right. And so it'll give you a roadmap of the different available classes to choose from at a glance. Um, the other thing that you might want to consider doing is making a counseling appointment. If you have questions, please stop and ask. Uh, it's easier for us to schedule the perfect schedule for you when we have your requests accurately entered from the get go. If you kind of do your best guess and you kind of change your plans many times, uh, many, many times later on in the process, it becomes harder to fit you in and become more of a square peg in a round hole versus trying to build the hole around what you need. Okay. The next step is uh, entering your actual requests. And that's something that um, I'll let you watch the video here to understand. You're going to want to pay close attention to the window of dates that we will give you. Um, we haven't quite set those yet as of the recording of this video, but once we get this information out, you will have those dates. And that window of time will be 
uh, will be when you need to enter your course requests via your Aries student portal. All right. It will have a start date and an end date. It'll be very important that you do your requests and you can make as many changes during that window as you want. If you go in and enter AP English and change your mind 10 times, you can do that as many times as you like within that window of time. Once that window closes, all requests need to be going through uh, your school counselor. And that's a little bit more complex of a process because we have started scheduling at that point. All right. The video you see on the screen will actually walk you through the process of accessing uh, your course requests within your Aries student portal. And that's something that you want to make sure that you do uh, follow the instructions for. Um, if you do not enter your course requests within that window of time, um, or you have an incomplete schedule and need more classes, your school counselor will be happy to assign you classes that feel appropriate or, or uh, have plenty of space to accommodate you in that course. So if you don't really care what classes you take, we can make pretty good choices for you. Just please do note that we do list and keep a list of who do not enter their course classes, uh, their course requests. And we do take that into account when we're making course request changes later on in the process. You do get a slightly lower priority in terms of access to certain classes if you don't bother to enter your own course requests. And then finally, the last step is waiting, okay? Patience. It takes us about two months or so to actually work on this process. It's a very, very complex um, process, mini level puzzle. And so there are about 3000 individual classes that all have to fit together in this nice package for it to all work for you. And so we do get everyone um, their schedules back typically around mid-May, but it will kind of be ready when they're ready. And so depending on how this year looks and what our um, steps we need to take are, we'll definitely make sure we get those out to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And um, it's better to be sure earlier on than uh, be unsure later on.